Hello everyone, welcome again to class. I'm Eleni. I'm here today with you to just give you a quick flow, 10 minute flow. You don't have too much time during the day to follow our other classes. You can definitely unroll your mat and have this 10 minute flow that aims at uh, boosting your immune system, allowing you to move, to stretch, to also feel how you stay in control of your alignment, in control of your uh, strength. So we're going to blend being in a flow movement, um, being in some static poses, finding our balances, even some arm balancing preparation, although I know we need to make sure that we're in a safe environment around practice of this. So we're going to begin on the top part of our mat. Placing your feet either hip width apart or with the big toes connected and your heels in short distance. Enter in your mountain shape. Feel the lines on your spine. Invite your tailbone to sink down as your abdominals are pulled up and in, offering support to your spine. Close your eyes for a moment and invite your ujjayi breathing. If you do not have a regular practice of ujjayi breath, deep inhalations through the nose and full exhalations out through the nose again. And notice for a moment how your breath travels. How your body expands and contracts. Keep all your attention gathered to the present moment of your practice. Turn it in you for the coming 10 minutes. You may feel like using the word health as your intention for your practice today. Exhale, directing your hands over your heart center, Anjali Mudra, bow your head forward. With palms connected, as you inhale, lift up, let the shoulders roll down, your chest to rise. Exhale, fold forward in Itanasana, forward bend, micro bend your knees if needed. Inhale, extend your spine halfway, flat back, open heart. Exhale, huge step with your right foot back in a low lunge position. Align your knee to your ankle, breathing back knee to the floor. Feel the space on your right hip flexor. Half split, exhale, square your hips. Try to stretch your spine, flex your front foot. Inhale, transfer your weight back forward, lift through the chest. Exhale, connect to your belly, direct your tailbone back, your chest forward. Breathe on your left hamstrings one more. Inhale. And exhale. Return to your low lunge position. Breathe in. Straighten the back leg. Feel the action on your palms. Breathe it out in your three leg dog. Reach back and over. As you inhale, transfer your weight in one left plunge. Head forward. Left toes back. Exhale with the knee to chest. Round your spine. Connect to your center. Inhale back again in your beautiful life. Exhale with the knee to chest, squeeze your center. Inhale, extend your spine, arrive in your full plank. Exhale in your downward facing dog. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. Guide the right leg back and over in your three leg dog position. As you've done earlier, transfer your weight forward in a full plank. Give yourself a moment to stabilize. Try to engage your center. Curl the toes under. First expression if you need it. Let your knees reach the floor. Breathing, shifting your weight a bit forward. Half Chaturanga. Exhale. Bend the elbows next to the ribs. Guide your pelvis forward. Your chest up. Activate the legs in your cobra position. Relax the shoulders. Lift through your chest. Downward facing dog, roll over your toes. Inhale. Try to lengthen through the tailbone. Find the stability on your arms. Once again, for the right leg to reach back and over. Exhale with your knee 
towards your chest, from round your spine, step your foot through, low lunge. As earlier, breathe in, back knee to the floor, half split, exhale, try to roll the right hip a little bit further backwards than you've done earlier with the left. Inhale, lower your pelvis, lift through the chest. Exhale, enjoy the movement. Feel the control over it, one last inhale. And exhale. Return in low lunge, activate the back leg, breathing. Exhale, support, fill your inner thighs. Through the crown of your head, reach forward, inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Stabilize your legs and elongate through your trunk. Inhale, reach forward and up. Exhale, palms in first position. This time with a circle on your arms. Inhale, rise up. Maybe implement the gentle the heart opener. Exhale, fold, hinge from your pelvis, hands to the floor. Inhale, lengthen your spine halfway. Begin with your left foot, taking a huge step back. Enter to your low lunge. Give yourself a moment to stabilize, to magnetize your inner thighs, and to lengthen the upper body up. Inhale, high crest and lunge. Exhale, bend the front leg, activate the back. Lengthen your tailbone down, arms in T. Inhale. Exhale, rotate to the right side. Continue lengthening your upper body forward. Inhale, left hand to the floor. Exhale, twist it, low lunge. Stay here for a moment and widen the distance so your right foot will step a little bit more to the outer line. Back knee again towards the earth as you breathe in, lower your hips. And as you exhale, follow the movement as you circle the right arm around. Try to reach your foot. If that's not available, try to support the other side of your pelvis. Let's find the action on our arms. So in your inhalation, do rotate to the center. And as you exhale, bend the elbow next to your ribs. Try to feel the stretch on your left quadricep. And in your in-breath, open back up. One more time. Exhale, rotate. Bend like in a half chaturanga. Connect, connect, connect. In your inhalation, open. In your exhalation, release your shape. Place your palms to the floor. Stepping back to your one leg dog reaching back and over. In your inhalation, in one left plank, reach forward with your head, point the toes back. Exhale, knee and nose to meet. Inhale, one beautiful line. Exhale, connect. Let me see your abdominals pulling in, your spine opening up. Inhale, arrive to your full plank. Exhale to your downward facing dog. If you are out of the line of your mat, return to the center. In your inhalation, left leg, down dog, ekapada, three leg dog. Exhale in your full plank line. Give yourself a moment to feel the connection to the center. Stabilize on your shoulder blades. Direct your toes under your heels. Press back. If you're ready for full chaturanga, inhale, shift the weight. Exhale, elbows to bend next to the ribs. Stay with your collarbones open. Reach forward, rise up. Inhale. Keep the thighs off the ground. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Find your breath flow. Left leg. Relax, dog. Inhale. Maintain the square shape. Exhale. Knee to chest. Step your foot through. Try to stabilize. Magnetize again your adductors and reach forward. Rise up. Inhale. Exhale. Arrive in your beautiful lines. Open the arms sideways. Try to feel the arms like wings. Exhale. Rotate to the left side. 
Continue engaging your legs as you lengthen the upper body. Left hip rolls back, right palm to the floor. Find your low lunging rotation. Open, align your arms. As earlier, direct your left foot further out. Lower your pelvis. Back knee to the floor. Let's continue in a circular movement. Exhale, reach your foot. Hold it there for a moment. Avoid to let the knee dropping forward. Keep the leg activated. In your inhalation, try to derotate your right hand in line to your shoulder. Exhale, bend the elbow. Lower, feel the action of your arm. Inhale, open up. Push away. Keep on feeling your foot close to you. Exhale to the center. Keep your center connected. Chest and pelvis lowering equally. Return back over. Return to your rotated low lunge. Inhale. Exhale, low lunge position. Walk your foot further to the front. Step forward as you inhale. Halfway lengthen your spine. A little bit deeper, fold as you exhale. Once again, breathe in, elongate your spine just in a diagonal line. Exhale, deepen your fold forward with your big toes and heels to connect. Engage your inner thighs. Rise in your imaginary chair. Breathe it in. In Itkatasana, hold it there for a moment. Try to feel your knees moving forward, your tailbone pointing back. You have your favorite chair behind. You're ready to sit, but hold on for a moment with me. Relax the shoulders. Keep your breath. We are going to explore our balance. So straighten the legs. Inhale. Exhale. Circle the arms around. Continue with your big toes and heels together. And arrive on your ten toes as you inhale. Feel your inner thighs. Feel your gluteals. Feel your spine long. Exhale. Lower your right heel and lift your left knee up towards your chest. Make sure that you don't lose your level. Lift the knee higher if you need to bend your standing leg to support. Let your knee rise a little bit higher up towards your chest. Good. Keep on breathing. Find your not moving point. As you exhale, lower your knee just in one line to your hip. Support the outer line. And circle the left arm. Inhale. Exhale. Find your rotation only from your torso, not the legs. Open. Soften the shoulders. Maybe direct your gaze further. One more breath in. One more breath out. Returning back to the middle line. Inhale. Your hands towards your chest. Pass through a third warrior. Exhale. Your heel to your buttocks. Lengthen your spine. Reaching backwards. Try to arrive in your parallel line. If you need a modified expression, you may microbend your standing leg. Try to activate your back foot as if you are ready to step on the wall behind you. But feel free to keep your toes pointing if you wish. Breathe in, in, extend the arms. Try to reach the floor if possible. Continue with your legs in that level. Right fingertips in an imaginary line to your right pinky toe. Begin to rotate, opening up in your half moon position. Now flex your top foot. Try to disassociate your leg from your pelvis. And maybe keep your gaze down or lift it up. Continue feeling the two walls in front and behind you. Activate a little bit more. Breathing, micro-bend the right leg. Control transition. Exhale in your second warrior. Hold it there for a moment. If we are not yet in line, let's try to draw a line from our right heel to the arch of the left foot. Continue with the external rotation on the right leg, the tendency of internal rotation to the back. Activate your arms. Feel how strong you are. Continue with your breath in and out. In a beautiful reverse warrior shape, breathe it in, reach it back, reach it over, 
exhale, circle around, lift the back heel off the floor, transfer your weight from the sides, roll your feet a little bit more to the center, just for a deep breath in, open up, exhale, dive forward, the crown of your head and tailbone moving away, keep on standing on toes and feet. One more inhale stretch. Let's turn towards the left leg. Exhale. If you're willing to enter in a vinyasa, follow it. Plant your hands. Stepping back in full plank. Inhale, align. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing, breathe in. Downward facing, breathe it out. We're going to try to jump if possible to access the other side. So rise up on toes. Inhale. Exhale, continue elevating your tailbone as you micro bend your knees. Stretch your spine, look ahead. Come back to your center and jump silently. No one should hear us. Halfway. Good. Exhale, fold in Itkatasana in our chair position. Breathe in, bend the legs. Reach forward, rise up. Just for one deep breath. Exhale, Samasthiti. In your inhalation, rise back again on your toes. Try to lift the arm this time as well. Continue feeling the leg. In your exhalation, we are ready to step on the left foot, lifting the right knee up towards the chest. Try to connect to your center. Feel the line, the connection to your knee with your palms. Inhale. Exhale, use your arms. You can easily direct your knee closer to your chest. Continue as you lower your leg a little bit. Stabilize through your legs and pelvis. And right arm, inhale, circle forward. Exhale. Continue for two more breaths. Let's try to feel this twist. Let's try to offer some love to our inner organs. And in your in-breath, circle around, direct your hands to your chest, lift your knee higher in your third warrior, exhale, feel your head, your pelvis, your lifted foot connected, hold it there. It's really important to feel the top leg, to feel your spine, to feel your entire body. Stay strong, you are strong. One more breath. Fingertips towards the ground. Keep on lengthening your spine. You may also use a breather yeah, as we practice it in the class. You may touch your fingertips on the brick, rotating, opening up, and lifting the right arm over. Again, in your half moon position, feel the action of the lifted leg. Feel the rotation on pelvis, on chest. Inhale, softly bend your left knee. Take again a huge step. Try to find the line as we done earlier. Yes, better. If we need to widen the distance, do so. Four breaths in our second warrior. Stabilize. Feel your own strength. Relax the shoulders. Maybe feel someone pulling your arms away, someone pulling your legs away from each other. And inhale as you laterally flex. Mirror yourself on your left palm. Avoid to collapse on the right. Keep on feeling the connection. Exhale, circle the arms. Lift your back heel off the floor. Transfer your weight to the sides. We're going to stay here for a few more breaths. Try to feel your arms in an active shape. Of course, you have the option to take hold your big toes or just to let the upper body sink forward. But please don't let your weight shift back. Huh? Try to move also towards your toes. Head trying to meet the ground through your long spine. We're going to have one last inhalation to lengthen halfway. Now stay there with your upper body extended and begin to roll your feet a little bit in closer distance. 
just to find a little bit more space on our pelvis. Keep your feet in parallel and as you exhale, like being in yogi squat, but your tailbone reaches up. Micro bend your knees. Good. Let's shift the weight towards the right and left. And maybe try to hook your shoulder underneath its knee. Continue moving. It's really nice to feel how you can shift your weight from one side to the other, just to balance without your arms. If you want to continue, frame your foot with your hands. Please try to feel how all four fingers from index to, mid to your pinky finger is pointing forward. And now try to feel your legs bruising towards your shoulders. Continue as you micro bend the elbows in a chaturanga shape while your pelvis is lowering, while your chest is lifting. You may stay here. If you have the preparation for Titipasana, keep the arms as they are strong. Begin to walk your feet forward. Remember, my hands are behind you. You're not going to fall. Keep on lifting through the chest. Maybe lift your feet. Maybe cross one over the other. Hold for three. For two. A little bit higher with your pelvis. A little bit higher with the chest. One. And lower yourself down. Good. Straighten the legs to the sides. What beautiful stretch before I farewell you. Walk your sit bones more to the back. Try to encourage again the external rotation, the action to your legs. Of course, if needed, softly bend them. And leave the arms up and over. Stretch yourself. Inhale. Try with long spine as you exhale to ground more your tailbone, to feel how your torso hinges from your pelvis. Stay, stay there with a long spine as you continue your transition to the earth. Fingertips to the mouth, walking forward. Inhale. Exhale. Lengthen on your spine, breathing. Continue with your legs, feeling energized. Exhale. One last. In. And out. Breathing as you pose. And slowly in your exhalation, walk your hands. Mobilize your spine, arrive in your sitting position, stay with your eyes closed for a moment and feel how easier you can arrive here. Continue with your eyes closed. You may help your legs with one hand to bend in a cross leg position. If you are willing to enter in a half or full lotus expression, please do so. Place one palm over your belly, the other one over your chest. Try to invite your breath again in a more natural rhythm. And we're going to conclude our practice with three breaths all together. So take a deep inhalation and trying to spend five counts. Inhale, two, three. Four, five, hold for one, hold for two, exhale in five, four, three, two, one, hold for one, hold for two, two more, and inhale, five, four, three, two, one, pause for two counts. Feel the air. Exhale in seven. Begin to force it out from your bed. Breathe. Four, three. To your chest. To your nose. Hold for one. Hold for two. Last to go. Five, two. Inhale. Two, three, four, five. And pause. Feel the effect of the breath in your body. Exhale in 10 if possible. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold a little bit longer the breath in and out. And as you inhale, 
circle the arms up. Deep inhalation to lengthen yourself much. In your exhalation, pass through your foreheads, honoring your kind thoughts, your lips, honoring your kind speech, and your heart, honoring your kind intentions. Namaste.